Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix WhatsApp keeps crashing on your iPhone after iOS 15 update and how you can fix this up. So let's get started. So first thing, what you have to do is just have to follow these instructions. And the first one, and the foremost one, when you're having this issue, you just have to make sure you're having enough amount of space on your iPhone, which is very important. Which is not in the space in the sense it is storage. Okay. So in order to check, you just have to tap on the settings. From here, you just have to tap on general. From here, you have to tap on iPhone storage. And from here, you just have to make sure that you're having enough amount of space or storage here on your iPhone. Because this matters a lot. If you don't have enough space, you're definitely having these kind of issues. So it is very important. And moving on to the next solution is all about, you just have to clear the cookies and cache. This is what I have to use technically. So to do this, you just have to follow these instructions in the general itself. You can go to settings. If I want to explain the detail, you just have to tap on general. From here, you just have to tap on iPhone storage. And from here, you just have to select WhatsApp. And there is an option called offload app, right? So you just have to click on this. And you have to do the offload app and see whether the issue is solved or not. Even after trying out, it's not working. Then we have a solution is we have to check for the latest update on the software update, whether you are on the latest version or not. So you just have to go for the software update. As you can see, I'm on not in the latest version. It is on 4.8 because uh, 15, as you can see, iOS 15 has been rolled out. So I just have to upgrade to the iOS 15. And this is what I have to do. And moving on to the next solution is all about what I have to do is I have to follow the next instruction is I have to delete the WhatsApp once again. I have to press and hold and delete the WhatsApp and you have to go for it once again and see whether the issue is solved or not. And even if it's not working after trying out, just have to go to the app store and you have to search for WhatsApp. And as you can see, in most cases, as you can see, this is the latest version of the WhatsApp. And if you find any kind of updates, you can update to the WhatsApp and see whether the issue is solved or not. Just update WhatsApp and do a restart on your iPhone and see whether the issue is solved or not. And most probably by trying these, the issue has to be fixed. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.